Hey YouTube, happy Friday. Welcome back to another episode of Comics and Stuff. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I know everybody's really excited about this video. Today is one of my most, personally, one of my most anticipated videos of the year. This is Holiday Gifts for Nerds 2017 edition. So, if you have a really nerdy boyfriend or girlfriend and you might not be so much of a nerd, this is the video for you. This is to help you kind of figure out uh, maybe perhaps some gift ideas. Now, last year's video, I had 10 ideas for great nerd gifts. I got some awesome reviews and I was asked to do it again and of course I said heck yes. So here I am again. Um, this year's list consists of nine awesome things. Uh, I couldn't find a tenth one. I tried to find a tenth one but I couldn't find anything that I really honestly was like yes. So um, these are going to be nine awesome gifts that might help you get started on some ideas uh, for the nerd in your life. So, uh, starting off with number one, you can get every single nerd the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. So that comes out every single year. I got mine from my good buddy Kyler. You'll you'll see him on my Instagram if you follow me. Um, but you know, every single year, Lego does a Star Wars Lego Advent Calendar. Each one has little mini Legos that are fun to open on each day uh, throughout the year or the month of December. And then on the very last day, there's always an exclusive uh, holiday character. So that one is awesome. Last year they did um, C3PO and R2D2 as Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and C3PO Santa Claus on the sleigh. It was great. Uh, this year. I'm not sure what the exclusive is. It's I think it's a BB-8, but it's real cool. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you can get any of the holiday uh, release Funkos or Dorbs. So I'm sure you guys are well aware of what Funko Pops are and Dorbs and you know Pint Size Heroes and things like that. So there's going to be a couple really awesome holiday releases and exclusives. So there's a new set of Walmart exclusives coming out. Uh, they are all Stan Lee Funko Pop exclusives to Walmart. They're going to be Stan Lee as his cameo characters from all of the different Marvel movies. Uh, those come out, uh, I believe, mid-November, so middle of this month. Uh, there's also new Alien and Predator uh, Funko Pops and Dorbs coming out this month as well. Um, there's nothing exclusive about them. They just are being released and they're real cool. Um, there's also uh, a Grinch from The Grinch Stole Christmas. You know, uh, there's a Dorbs ride. Uh, I believe it's uh, The Grinch and his little sleigh. So that's going to be a holiday exclusive. I don't believe it's... Um, or I believe it's a holiday release. I don't believe it's exclusive anywhere. Um, but... There's that. And then uh, you also have the brand new Cuphead uh, door, or not door, I'm sorry, the Cuphead Funkos. So Cuphead is a critically acclaimed brand new game that just came out. I absolutely love it. It got me to come out of not playing video games. It's such a great game. So they just released like three lines of different Funkos and uh, Funko plushies for the Cuphead series. So any of those from the new Funko and Dorbs lines, you can pick up for the nerd in your life this holiday season. Uh, next, if you guys are fans of The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Arrow, uh, Supergirl, anything from the Arrowverse, really, you can pick up these awesome Kotobukiya, uh, you know, TV series statues of your favorite heroes. So I want the one with The Flash. I love The Flash. The Flash is one of my favorite superheroes. Um, you can also get one of Supergirl and Arrow as well. Um, you know, they're, I believe they retail for anywhere between $60 to $90. You can find them on Amazon. Um, and they are awesome. They're realistic. You know, they, they match the suits on the on the TV shows. And they're great for anybody who loves the CW and keeps up with uh, with those shows. I'm waiting for them to come out with stuff for Kotobukiya to do uh, Legends of Tomorrow ones. And I can't wait to see what they do when Black Lightning comes out. Um, anyways, now this one, number four. This one might be a little obvious, but tickets to Star Wars Episode Eight. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want tickets to star wars episode eight uh granted that could be that's like an early christmas present because uh or, or holiday gift whatever you want to call it because uh you know it comes out on december 15th which is a friday not you know christmas day or anything like that but uh you know tickets to star wars episode eight that would make anybody happy unless you don't like star wars and that would just mean that you're some weird I anyways um so there's that uh, now, next, a couple of these things are Funko products, I should let you know, because those seem to be all the rage during the holiday season, um, but I'll get to those in a second. Next, something I just recently discovered, drawer boxes. So, I'm sure some of you guys know uh, some nerds in your life that are very, very cluttered or disorganized and need a little bit of help. Well, drawer boxes, I discovered them on somebody else's YouTube channel, I can't remember what, but they are um, they are sold online, I think it's just, you can just Google drawer box, there's only one, and they are an interlocking box or interlocking box like system that kind of function like long boxes, 
but you can stack them and treat them like drawers and pull comics out uh, and organize them and they lock so you can stack them and things like that and they're just really cool so drawer boxes i think you can get five for 40 bucks on their website um, and i'll put a link to that website in the description below because i just bought myself 15 of them so you know i can't wait to show them off on the instagram so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well um next you can get yourself a uh, subscription or you can not yourself well you can't get yourself one but you can get uh, somebody in your life as well a subscription to any of the funko collectors boxes now last year i did a lot of talking about loot crate and nerd block nerd block unfortunately is going out of business loot crate is already way overdone but the funko pop boxes there's the marvel legion of collect or i'm sorry the marvel uh, collectors core dc legion of collect and uh, the Disney I, the Disney Pop Box. I'm not sure what the Disney one is called, but every other month they will send you two pops at least and then a couple other Funko products. Um, you can also get uh, your monthly pop in a box or once a month Funko will send you a pop based on your preferences. So that's really cool. Um, all the ones that come in the uh, Marvel, DC, and uh, Disney ones are exclusive. Most of my Funko Pops are actually from the DC and Star Wars um Funko boxes. Oh, I'm sorry. There's also Star Wars one, Smuggler's Bounty. I just realized I didn't mention that. But so yeah, uh, Smuggler's Bounty, Legion of Collectors, Collector Core, and then the Disney Pop in a Box, um, or the Disney Box and the Pop in a Box. So there's five altogether. Um, so that's awesome. Next, Stranger Things. I know you were wondering where that was going to come in. So Stranger Things has become so popular over the last year with its awesome opening first season. So you can actually get the uh, Stranger Things season one collector's edition for somebody. Uh, it comes in a case that makes it look like an old 1980s VHS tape and the actual um, case that, you know, it's the slip case is like the VHS cover and the actual case that holds the discs looks like a VHS. It's so retro. It's awesome. Um, it's a collector's edition. I think you can find it for like 40 bucks on Amazon, um, but it's awesome. Um, and then also, I, I think you guys may remember last year there was the Legion of, uh, or I'm sorry, the League of Regrettable Superheroes. Um, I showed you guys that on last year's video well, and then there was like a like a snippet of a smaller version for supervillains. Well, I just want to let you guys know the guy who did that, uh, I think his name was John Morris, yeah. So John Morris, he did uh, the Legion, or the League of Regrettable Superheroes, and then he finally released a full-sized edition of the Legion of Regrettable Supervillains. Uh, it's the same size as Regrettable Superheroes, and it's hilarious. Some of these villains are great. Um, you know, they go from the Golden Age to the Modern Age. I absolutely love this guy's books. These are so cool. Um, you know, it's just kind of fun to learn and look at the funny and goofy pictures. So there's that. And then the last gift that I want to talk about uh, for this video is, uh, do you guys remember last year as well? I talked about uh, Funko doing a release at Hot Topic only of a golden BB-8. They're doing the same thing again this year with a with the Black Friday release, even though they released it on Thanksgiving last year, but of R2-D2. So you can get yourself a gold R2-D2 special holiday edition only Funko Pop at your local Hot Topic. Um, so run over there as fast as you can. They'll probably be there on Thanksgiving night, so... We'll see. But that is my uh, 2017 edition for holiday gifts for nerds. Uh, you know, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope that, um, you know, this helps you find a gift for somebody you love. Um, but that's really it, you guys. You know, you got a couple months till, till the holidays really kick in or a couple weeks till the holidays really kick in. So happy hunting um, and I will see you all next Friday. <laughs>